A whole lot of students have been asking what's a realistic way to cover medicine in a day. If you're aiming for neat PG on August 3, this will be your game changer. And here's a five day plan, slick, structured, and designed for results. Day one, start with cardiology, kick off with impact. Start easy and try to go slow to make sure you sync up with the lectures, especially if you're attending for the first time. In the morning, you can dive into topics like acute coronary syndrome, heart failure, and clinical cardiology and set up a foundation. And in the evening, you can shift gears and start nailing other topics like aortic disorders, infective endocarditis, acute rheumatic fever, and much more. You're going to end your day on a high with PYQs and some fresh MCQs so that it can boost your confidence. And let's move into day two. It's for respiratory medicine and critical care. You're going to focus on very important topics like spirometry, asthma, COPD, ARDS, ABGs, shock, and never, ever forget environmental emergencies. And after each section, try to hit 10 minutes of recent PYQs and some MCQs, and that's how you're going to make your memory stick. And it's absolutely okay to do the MCQs at the end of the day as well. Now, let us move on to day three. In the morning, you're going to start with endocrine system, which is a kind of an exam gold, I would say, and complete it. And in the evening, you're going to do topics like nephrology and rheumatology, which are kind of short and punchy topics, but very, very high yielding and high scoring. And coming to day four, you're going to start with neurology in the morning. And you're going to zero in on topics like stroke and seizures, which are absolutely non-negotiable topics in EPG. And of course, you're going to complete all the other must-know highlights from neurology as well. In the evening, try to go for the bonus section. So three hours of absolute gold on hematology, GIT hepatology, tropical infections, nutritional disorders, and much more. Coming to day five, the final day, it's time to review. Hit your weak spots, take a quick self-test and ace those clinical images one more time. And please do not skip the ENDs of cerebellum, which is really going to level up your concepts. And please try to stay sharp and keep an eye out for the next big ENDs coming up. And keep doing those mini GDs and the grand tests without fail because they are the ones that are going to keep you laser focused right till the finish line. If you can additionally run the marathon of medicine, that is lab 3, that will be like cherry on top. And from there on, you will be absolutely unstoppable as far as medicine is concerned. Five days, all of medicine, even with MCQs. Game, set, go. This is the one thing you cannot negotiate. And trust me, you will thank me later. See you on the other side, guys.